This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. And welcome back. Hunters, are you ready? Bow hunting season for deer is right around the corner. We have Randy Gardner from the Missouri Department of Conservation here this morning to give us all the details. How are you doing? I'm doing good, ma'am. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks so much for coming on. So the first question is, when does uh, bow hunting season for deer start? Well, it'll be starting. It's just right around the corner. It's September 15th is the opening day of it, and it'll go until January 15th. You can hunt it all the way through. Um, the only time that you cannot archery hunt is during the fire, uh, fall firearms. Okay, and let's talk about permits now. What types of permits do hunters need in order to participate? You need to get your archery permit, and it's you can get them at any most of your local stores that sells any permit, and they all sell them all. So. Okay, and now let's go ahead and start talking about the limit. Is it different from firearm season? Yes, ma'am, it is. Um, with archery season, you will actually get uh, two archery permits for deer, and then you also get two archery permits for turkey. The stipulations with that is you can take um, and harvest both animals before rifle season, but you can only harvest one antlered buck before rifle season, and you can harvest one antlered buck after rifle season. Okay. Now, when you say permit, is that the same as a tag? That's for the same okay. as a tag. Just wanted just, to clarify, just yep. to make sure. Okay. Now, let's talk about when, uh, when are you allowed to hunt? What time of day? Um, you can start a half hour before sunrise until a half hour after sunset. Okay, and uh, as in safety gear, is it all the same? Do you have to wear the bright or orange? You do not have to wear hunter's orange when you're archery hunting. Um, it's your choice if you wear a safety harness, that type of thing, while you're up in a stand. There is no stipulations on the, on the orange, though. If you want to go in full camo, you can and go out and try to hide. And a lot of it has to go with because you are also trying to harvest a turkey at some point. So. Okay. That's good to know. Mm -hmm. So where, uh, where in Northeast Missouri are the best places to go bow hunting? Um, there's all kinds of conservation areas you can go. There's some of them, for example, is uh, Locust Creek. It's over just west of Milan. And then there's Union Ridge, which actually goes into three counties. It's uh, north of Dare, North Sullivan, and South Putnam County. And you can archery hunt on any of those. Um, Missouri Department of Conservation gives out a pamphlet you can get them where you get your permits, and in the back of it, it has all the conservation areas that you are able to, to archery hunt at, and they also do a numbered scale from one to six on the amount of deer that's in that area, so you can try to pinpoint an area that you'd like to try to hunt and go for it, so. Okay, now my next question is, let's talk about the method. Are there different types of method when it comes to archery hunt hunting? Yes, ma'am, there is. Okay. There's a, you know, you can go traditional and use like a long bow, and mm -hmm. that's, you don't have the poundage or the, the strength of what you would on the new modern bows. You can also use recurve bows. Um, and then the modern style is the, the compound bows that shoot really fast and really hard. You can, all of them are all allowed. And they also we can use a, an atlatl now as part of your archery season. Wow, that's a lot. Yep. All right, now let's talk about, uh, there's a, a survey that's going to be taking place. First, let's talk about the survey mm -hmm. and what it entails and then how our viewers can participate in this survey. The survey is, is just to help our biologists kind of determine um, animal health, animal numbers, that type of thing. And we do it for uh, white-tailed deer, mm -hmm. turkeys, and any of the fur bearers. And what it is, is we'll contact, I'll give you that information here in a minute, we'll contact uh, one of our ladies that takes care of it and they will send you an actual kind of like a diary a journal type thing and when you go out in the woods you can take it with you and as if you see a raccoon or a bobcat or deer that type of thing you can uh, mark it down just kind of write a little description on the health of it and what you've seen and what you noticed about it and then at the end of the season you can send it in and they'll take that and use that for their reports for next year on populations and health and stuff like that. Interesting. So you brought a pamphlet. So how yes, can somebody get involved in this survey? Um, like I said, in the pamphlet that you can get at, you know, your local store, mm -hmm. um, right at the archery section, right at the bottom of the page, there's a little orange block and um, it'll have all the information you need. You can uh, email, her name is Martha McCreary at mdc.mo.gov. Okay. And she will go ahead and, and mail that information to you and stuff. Or you can also mail in, it's called a bow hunter observation survey. Mm -hmm. You just mail it in to Missouri Department of Conservation and they will mail out the journal for you. If Okay. 
Is there a deadline to uh, sign up for this survey? No, ma'am. Okay. Um, if you haven't decided you're going to bow hunt or anything, and then all of a sudden you decide you want to go, and you've, you're going to be out like, uh, oh, about two weeks out, so the, the mail runs and stuff, mm -hmm. you can go ahead and send it up and, and okay. get you a little journal and kind of help us out too. All right. Well, all really great information and tips as well. Thank you so much, Randy. And what we'll do is we'll post everything on our website at heartlandconnection.com, as well as links to the Missouri Department of Conservation's websites for all the information on the season, regulations, permits, and all that stuff. Thank you again for coming on. Thank you, ma'am, for having me. And we'll be right back.